Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And all set to bring you this game from the Extra Classa. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape if they control the middle of the park play some expansive football the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the full backs can push on let's hope they do that today let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And now they get the ball rolling. Sacek. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's one of those players you want the ball to go to. He's such an exciting player. And most importantly, he's very effective, as his goal-scoring record tells us. Mark Gual. You saw the situation developing. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Moving into the advanced position. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. No, no. And snuffing out the danger. Well, he's lost the ball. No space for them here. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Nene. 
Now Mark Gual. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But go ahead! And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Keeper's given it away and excusedly. And still looking to get off. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? And over comes the corner. Ball is loose. And foiled by the post. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Determined defender. This looks threatening. Chance, maybe. And a time for calm on the ball. Petrov. No, no. In position. Well, there is the opening goal. The pressure finally telling, and they get their due reward. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Nene. Sacek. Now Mark Gual. Losing possession. since they have the ball the referee playing advantage here Romanchuk terrific block he's going forward well here chance to cross well they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity pretty routine there for the goalkeeper
They've got to be really mindful of the time situation. Attacking though they might be. Defensive resilience to shut them down. Petrov. No, high quality defending. And a good looking ball. Oh, a vital piece of last ditch defending. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. And the contest begins. Now putting it wide from there, disappointing. a great chance for 1-0 well that should have been the opener shouldn't it what a chance that was and over comes the corner and foiled by the post and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game no no in position 